Howdy friends, and happy holidays from Toybox Nostalgia. In this video, we're going to be tearing open the absolute brand new 2024 NECA, Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon style toy line, sewer layer. Okay, so this is a 27 inch by 10 inch by 16 inch box that is 14 pounds full of Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles goodness from NECA and it's so big that I honestly don't know how I'm going to film this. Before we get started I'd like to say if you're new to Toy Box Nostalgia you'd love to see more content like to show up into your news feed please consider hitting that subscribe button it truly helps out the channel. If you like the content of this video please consider hitting the thumbs up button that really helps me understand exactly what you folks like to see and drop a comment below letting me know what you think. <laughs> of this massive playset from NECA. Thank you so much for watching my friends. I'm going to catch you after this quick break. Howdy. So <laughs> this box is massive. As I mentioned before, it's very, very large. Uh, the way that I film the unboxing videos is I have this view right here of you coming from the Canon EOS R. And then I have this view right here, which is being filmed by a Samsung Galaxy S Ultra 22 something. I don't know. The one with the pen is usually filming the subject straight down. So this time the phone is like high in the sky pointing down. And if the sound is kind of weird, it's because I use this microphone and I usually use it closer to my face or at least pointing at the direction of the sound. Uh, right now, the only way I could figure out I could do this is to put that over here to the side. So I'm trying my best here and yeah, there's a lot of wires here that I'm trying to hide. All right, so here it is. Don't mind my dirty desk. This is where I take all of my toy photos and do all of my work here. Build the dioramas, you know, stuff happens on this desk. So let's just focus on the box. The front of the box is really nice, actually. It's got this, you know, lazily uh, drawn uh, image of uh, the sewer layer. And it looks like it's being bombarded by Shredder and his gang of foot soldiers and Bebop and Rocksteady. Honestly, just looks like it's just quickly drawn on an iPad or something. But it does look nice. Uh, it does have a lot of detail and it's a super glossy box. It says NECA up here at the top right. It says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that really nice old fashioned logo that we all fell in love with. It does say Nickelodeon on the top left and it says the sewer layer on the bottom in that font that, you know, NECA is using. I, I actually like that font. The artists of NECA, like the, the folks who make all of the packaging and all the sculpts and all the painting and stuff like that. I truly admire them. I think they're doing a fantastic job. Let's flip this up to the top and we see that it is in a box that's kind of like the deluxe Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures from NECA in which it kind of looks like it's got the pattern from the top of the turtle van, which is cool, super cool. I really wish I would have got my hands on the turtle van. It just, it when the turtle van came out, I honestly just didn't know it was coming out. And I honestly didn't even know these action figures existed. So unfortunately, I, I missed out on that. And it's going for way too much right now. Scalper prices on eBay. So let's flip this over. There we go. All right. So the back of the box. I'm so sorry for the glare. This thing is very, very glossy. So we have features include couch, chair, small bench, table, lamp, standing lamp, Coffee table, turtle shell rug, area rug, street scene topper, sculpted pluggable wall decor, stop sign, mirror, street sign, banner, and more. And it says combine with NECA street scene diorama and your favorite TMNT figures for the ultimate display. And that's awesome. It does look really good. There's a picture of it over here. Let's see if I can get rid of that glare. And it, uh, it shows the street scene diorama sitting on top of the sewer layer diorama. Super cool. I think it's a really good idea and I think it's awesome. I can't wait for them to actually release more underground pieces of this. I'm hoping that they do. 
Again, the street scene diorama, this building that you see here, I just didn't know it existed, so I didn't get my hands on it, and it's probably super expensive. I don't think I ever even looked it up. Donatello's tech ti techno tips located on inside panel. So I'm guessing that means instructions. This is a very nice image, a very nice toy photography image of the Ninja Turtle sitting in the sewer layer. And this box is so big that they were able to print it very large and you can see every detail. I love that. I think it looks great. Again, the marketing folks for NECA are amazing. On the bottom here, this is where we're going to see our credits. And it says NECA and it says director Randy Falk, Trevor Zamet, sculpt and fabrication, Thomas I can't say your last name, Rose, Rosajowski, Rosajowski, Paint, Joff Trap, and Mike Puzo, Prototypes, Merle Mustard, and Photography, Matt Cloberdance, Packaging, Travis Hasback, and Illustrations, Tim Leite. I don't know, it says 2023 Viacom International, here's your barcode. And this puppy's made in China. It says NECA and Real Toys. And I don't even know what Real Toys is, to be honest with you. I just, the first time I ever saw that was whenever I very purchased my very first uh, Friday the 13th NECA um, Jason, Jason Voorhees action figure. And that was, man, that puppy was huge. It was like 16 inches or 17 inches tall and it made sounds and stuff. It was really cool. It's the first time I ever saw the Real Toys thing. I honestly don't know what it is. On the side here, we have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, old-fashioned old logo here. Nickelodeon and another toy photography shot of the inside of the sewer layer. Finally, our last side here, we have another toy photography shot of the inside of the diorama. This is kind of like a dark night scene, and it just looks awesome. The lighting in this photograph right here, absolutely 100%, I know this sounds weird, reminds me of Zombies in Spaceland. Okay, so I'm just going to try and slice this open right there. Looks like we have some on the sides. All right. Here we go. Oh, here is Donatello's tech tips. Look at that. Very cool. Wish I could zoom in on that for you. I apologize. But it shows exact. These are the instructions on how to snap all of the pieces together. <laughs> I'm really hoping that it comes apart easy so we can I can actually put it away. That was one of my favorite aspects of the diorama that I created. Was just it was just one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. It was just four panels of foam. And it just I could just stack them together and just put them in the closet. I don't think that's the case with this baby, but I'm not sure. Alright, so the first thing I'm pulling out of the box here looks like it's either the bottom. No, this is the top. This is the street scene. Uh, that sits on top of the sewer layer and it's wrapped inside of foam and it it actually is foam Okay, so in this package here we got Three pieces of foam. This is a foam board here and this is what sits on top of the sewer diorama So you have a, a sidewalk here and a street and maybe this is a crosswalk here. Not sure. It's very thick foam It's like half inch thick foam board so <laughs> this is paper on the bottom and paper on the top the paper on the top is like a semi-gloss and paper on the bottom is just raw paper and then we have more foam these are the you know the plaster that goes on the inside of the sewer diorama uh, in which it looks like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles had plastered over areas of the brick that may have gotten water damage or fallen apart and I'd say this is about an eighth of an inch thick and it's just 3M foam that looks like it was cut maybe with a laser. Or a Cricut machine maybe? I bet you I could do this on a Cricut machine. The last piece of foam that we got here is the rug here that goes inside of the diorama. And this is essentially what looks like a mouse pad. You have a piece of fabric on the top that's printed. And then on the bottom you have that grippy rubber. So like, you know, on a mouse pad. Just, you just put it down and put your mouse on it. This is about a sixteenth of an inch in thickness, and it's actually printed really well. It's, it's, you know, it's like not very crisp lines, so it'll look like a rug. Like, it looks really neat. So, all right, moving on. 
here we have our accessory pack, right? Look at these accessories. This is great. Okay, so that was an absurd amount of tape. Anyways, look at this. Matte finish. These look fantastic. Uh, these are the pipes that go inside of the sewer layer diorama, you know, near the ceiling. We got to do the Simpsons couch, right? Here's the Simpsons couch. Man, I saw someone on Etsy actually make this out of foam. I don't know how the heck they did it, but it looked really good. This is awesome. I love this. So far, I love this. This is this is like vinyl or something. It feels like a, a hefty dog toy. <laughs> it even has a breathing hole on the bottom, so it's... Does it squeak? <laughs> no, it doesn't. But yeah, I don't know. This always reminded me of the Simpsons couch. And we have this blue chair here. Look at that blue chair. That's nice, huh? Let's take a look at that. Really nice. It is the same type of material. Honestly, it's like a dog toy. <laughs> a very detailed dog toy without a squeaker on the bottom. All right. Here we have a set of tables that look like wood grain. Then we have a picture of Duda. Like a this big bite taken out of the, the bottom right hand side here. It is 3D. It's set back and there's wood frame, but obviously it's plastic. Ah, here's our nice uh, lamp here that stands up from the floor and it does have like a brown base that looks like it's just a big brown X and then we have the lamp it does not light up does not take batteries just a piece of plastic we have this lamp here which I don't think lights up either but looks like it has a light inside of it that's really odd that's like really odd man why would they put that inside there if it doesn't light up I don't know whatever neat does this not light up too? I don't think it lights up. There's no really nowhere to put like watch batteries or anything. Then we have another table. It's a nice little table here, right? Very cool. Stop sign. <laughs> we have a one-way sign right here. Very cool. We have our exit sign right there. I believe the one-way sign and the exit sign point at essentially or sit above the same exact um, entryway inside the sewer. Then we have this nice little scroll here. There's two pieces of wood and a chewed up piece of paper that has some Japanese characters on it. And then down here we have a mirror which has a gray wood frame. It has wood grain on it, but again it's just plastic, you know, just plastic stuff. Finally, we have a turtle and it has a red bandana and it looks like a bank or something. There's like slots in the shell and the shell does not look like an actual turtle shell. It kind of looks like something that you can eat. Now for the final box right here that came inside of the box. It probably houses all of the brick walls and the floor of the sewer layer. So let's go ahead and cut this open. Okay, my friends, so check this out. This is what one of the walls looks like. It's inside of this bubble wrap, which I mistakenly called foam earlier. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Very nice. So we have... Actually, I really, really like this, the way it's designed. And it's definitely injection, uh, molded injection plastic. I don't know what type of plastic it is. I doubt it says what type of plastic it is, but it is very rigid, very hard, and the paint application is awesome. So we'll take a closer look at that here in a minute. There's another piece. Here is the back wall. And finally, here is the sewer layer flooring. Look at that, very cool. All right, so now we got all the pieces out of the box. Let's go ahead and start to build this. Alright, so I'm going to start with the floor, obviously, and I should probably refer to Donatello's Techno Tips. Let's go ahead and just place this baby down. So I'm putting it this way just because um, we have uh, notches right here for the back wall most likely to sit into. Here's our Techno Tips, by the way. <laughs> this is what I'm referring to, so if you see me looking down a bunch, this is what I'm looking at. Alright. 
Cool. So it says to snap together all of the walls first. So I'm going to do that. This is the back wall, the rear wall. Well, you know, it's relative. This, the rear wall is what you see in the cartoon essentially all the time. So these go in like this, push them into the notches. Come on, man. There we go. Cool. So then it just all goes into place right here, all at the same time. Strange gapage here. There we go. Come on, bud. Uh, so, one thing I'm noticing right away is that it's very cool that they put like open ridges on the backs of this because that way you can grip it with your fingers to pull it together. So, this is just raw plastic on the absolute bottom. But see right here, there's like there's places for you to be able to just kind of grab it and pull, force your hand down and your other hand upwards to snap this all together. All right, so there is the sewer. And that's it. All right, so what it says to do next is put together all of the sewer pipes. So here we go with some pipes here. Very cool. This is going to be kind of fun. I'm super excited about this. I'm excited about all of this Ninja Turtle stuff love Ninja Turtles. All right. Okay. So it says to take this puppy right here and snap it into this puppy here. And as you see here, it didn't say in the directions, but there is a notch here taken out. And then there's like a little keyed bump here. So you, I don't think you could put it in the wrong way. There we go. Yeah. Snap it together. Cool. Next we have uh, one more pipe and that goes in here. We take a look see here there is a notch or not a notch no here's where the notch is on this side and this part just snaps in according to donatello who not only built an amazing robot in the sewer but apparently built the sewer also and made instructions for other people to build sewers i'm not sure if that's normal or not but that's as far as my end as mine will go all right so next we want to do is place this uh over here facing upwards just, there's a notch right there on the wall. Cool. And then finally, we're going to install this crap. Look at this. So, see this little steam pipe right here? Or outage pipe or something. Probably some sort of pipe for fumes because it's smaller. Just snap this in there. Together. Oh, it's all done. That's awesome. Okay. So let's give you a nice look see here this is what it looks like all together that's awesome that's, that's really cool so we have a bunch of, of notches in the wall see these notches here and i'm guessing that's where accessories go so i'm going to do it this way so you can actually see what i'm doing right there we go start with the signs first we have i believe this goes here yeah it's hard for me to remember since I honestly haven't seen the cartoons since the 80s when I was a kid. Wow, that's like, really goes on there, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> we have this key right here, this keyed piece, which goes, I believe goes here. Come on, bud. I guess it's as far in as it goes. That's okay. If you put them off center, they actually rotate inside of the. It actually looks cool off center. Um, they actually do rotate. So I believe the stop sign goes here. And then push it right on in, my friends. One way goes here. I do remember this. And it points. Because one way points at the, like the, essentially the main entrance, right? The, the front door, if you will, of the sewer layer. This is the front door here. <laughs> All right, so it points down here and then we have a mirror because, you know, Splinter likes to check on himself to see if he looks okay. So the uh, peg on the mirror is directly in the center. That's kind of cool because you can't really put it upside down. 
If it were off center, you know, obviously it would be higher or lower depending on how close it is to the sewer layer floor. Finally, we have our exit sign, which goes here. Boom, just like that, right? I think it's like that. Cool. And that's it, my friends. That is all of Donatello's tech tips. Our favorite Ninja Turtle of all time provided us with really easy to read instructions on how to build the sewer layer. How awesome is that? All right, so let's just start putting junk inside here. So here's our couch. Put this baby over here. Well, I think actually this goes over here, then this goes over here. I don't know where this goes. Ah, so apparently this goes on here with the turtle. The little turtle. This little baby right here. Cool. Nice. And is that everything? Oh, no, we forgot the blue chair. Alright. These dog toys. So this goes... Here. It's kind of an odd place for it, but that's okay. Boom! That is it, my friends. This is the entire NECA Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon style toy line sewer layer diorama set for your toy line style action figures from NECA. So what I'm gonna do next is bring this camera down so we get a really good shot of the inside and I'm gonna grab my accessories from the accessory pack that we had previously opened on the channel and just start filling this place up with junk. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to give you all the best view that I can. So I have the camera back here now. This is the rug that we ha I showed you before that's kind of like a mouse pad. You know, I'm just gonna put that baby right there. It's cool, whatever. And then we have this 3M tape, uh, foam tape stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this off and I'm going to apply this to the back wall, which kind of doesn't really make any sense, but I'm going to do it anyway. This 3, 3M makes really, really strong adhesive, by the way. Like I'd be really, really careful when doing this to ensure that you're doing it right the first time. 3M tape literally holds the Louvers on the rear window of my challenger and they've been there for years they haven't botched so this stuff is really strong so make sure you have it on correct first i'd reference the box as many times as possible uh just to, <laughs> just to make it line up with theirs because i feel like they have all this stuff NECA has all this stuff figured out especially the artists so this piece i think goes up here so i'm going to put this one here all right so all right doug let's go ahead and try and try to film this this stuff is like really sticky. <laughs> so just be very careful when you actually do find where it's supposed to go and you place it on, right? I'm just gonna put mine where the sculptors intended for it to go according to the images on the sewer diorama box from the toy photographer images. So. There we go. Now we have that gray stuff back there. It looks really neat. We have our rug placed in here. Let's add some more stuff, All right? I wanted to put this into this sewer diorama since the day I met this damn thing. I don't know, we could put a pizza here. Look at that, a, this picture right here with the rat cheese. I don't know where we would hang it in here. There it is. put in our VHS tape. We'll put this back here in the corner where it belongs. Yep. Throw in a book or two. Anyways, I'm going to put the video game console there. There we go. That's, that's a weird pizza box. We have one with a hinge. Pizza groove. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Cool, right? And then we make some room for some Ninja Turtles, right? How's that? There's another book. Let me put the book in there. Well, let's put some plants in there, right? Let's spruce the place up. Get some good oxygen. Okay, so there are more plants. Like we had this one and this one. 
And we have this, this plant that's like alive. Looks like it's gonna eat someone. Turtle communicator. All right, so we have a bunch of accessories now planted into the sewer layer diorama. Let's go ahead and add some action figures, right? All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and add our turtles. I only have the promotional colorway turtles, so we're gonna have to make do with these. Let's see if Michelangelo can in fact sit on this couch. Yeah, it turns out that he can. He sits really well. Let's go ahead and fix these feet. Though it is kind of neat to have them like in an action pose like that. Uh, we gotta take full advantage of those rockers, right? Make it look like his feet are normal. And he's gonna be looking at April O'Neil. Cool. So we'll have Leonardo standing up since he does have his sword in his hand. You can have them all kind of standing around watching TV. Donatello, I, I removed his, his bow staff so that we can definitely plant him now onto this couch. Make sure we get the feet correct. Look at that. And or he could be like standing like this. Look at that. Let's go ahead and add Master Splinter. There we go. Very nice. Look, okay, so now they're, all of their focus is now on April O'Neil, which is on TV, probably saying something devastating. Let's make this look a little more natural. I uh, guess we can leave it there. And we're going to go ahead and just put this over here, I guess. This one also. Who waters these plants? Who knows? Somebody was reading a book over here on the chair. Very cool. And then we could just kind of like rest this book here. And this book I kind of always put next to the TV. The pages are bright, brightly colored and you can really tell it's a book. And that is it. All right. Okay, so here's what I came up with for my very first scene. Inside of my very first NECA, Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon style sewer layer diorama okay so finally let's take a look at some of the paint application right here we do have a lot of splatter on the ground here like splattered paint we do have some brown which is um, sprayed onto it the, it is like fully matte finished the whole entire thing is a nice matte finish to match the action figures even like the the steam pipes here or the sewage pipes the whole thing the walls and everything's all matte finish you see, you can see there's a lot of br um, spraying here, like airbrushing maybe, around the bricks to make them, give them a more 3D look. Very cool. I love that. I love how dark this is. And as you see there, there's a lot of like blemishes in the bricks. The foam doesn't look too bad. I thought the foam would look kind of goofy, but from back here, it actually doesn't look that bad. It really does look like somebody had put just a massive amount of plaster on the walls. On the tubes themselves, like the sewer tubes, you can see that there's damage done to them, which is done really well. And it does have a rust color airbrush to them. There, some of the pipes are just black matte finish, like this here. And on the front, anywhere that there's an open pipe sticking out, it's got like a black matte finish inside of it. The rivets look good. Like the actual entryways look fantastic. I love the way that they're sculpted with these edges. And again, those are matte finish also. Everything is matte finish. The paint application is incredible. This is really rigid, really strong plastic. I'm actually, I'm honestly surprised. And I didn't think I would have this much fun just setting up my very first scene. <laughs> this is really cool. I'm very happy with this. The last piece that I want to talk about is this. This is the street that goes up on top of the sewer, giving it just one extra plane, essentially. So... We have our street plane here, and then underneath we have our sewer. But whenever I put this on, because I'm using top lights, I have a GE sink up here and I have this light here. Uh, it makes it really dark inside there. <laughs> Very dark. So I'm going to have to figure out how I can wire lights into this and into that guy back there. <laughs> 